So, as I mentioned, uh, our first speaker is Patrick Barbe, uh, Managing Director of Innovo, a startup supporting organization. And uh, I already had a p pleasure to host him uh, before uh, when he was talking uh, generally about uh, startup support environment in Switzerland, in particular in his job in Innovo. And I will just go through this briefly. You can find his first talk on YouTube on our channel. And uh, so Patrick Barbe, uh, he started as uh, electrical engineering, uh, where he graduated from EPFO. And from more interesting things I found in his uh, CV, he was working in uh, Texas Instruments Software, a company which uh, constructed the first uh, microchip ever. And uh, also he worked uh, for Canton uh, Geneva, uh, which is bordering with us. And, um, uh, on many services providing people with electricity, water management, and after this he moved into Innovo, where he is supporting people uh, like us, uh, st starting a new career uh, often after the academia, beginning with the companies, and he's an excellent person to ask for advice, also how to uh, find fundings or um, about management of a team. So I highly recommend you to, to meet with him, and unfortunately he doesn't stay for Apero, but there will be more chances. Thank you very much. So, do I use this one or? Both. Both. Ah, both together. Right. Good evening, everybody. Thanks a lot, Pavel, and to the team for organizing this. We are very proud to be supporting uh, this event because it's very important to support emerging technology trends and artificial intelligence, cognitive technologies are certainly one, one of them. So I have another event tonight because it's high season for events, that's why I'll have to go after this. But there'll be uh, Lara Rossi who's uh, our uh, communications manager and she'll be staying in case you have questions about the activities of Innovo. So we support uh, startups, uh, SMEs and scale-ups in uh, Canton de Vaux. Uh, just a few numbers, uh, Vaux was the number one in VC investments last year. We'll see this year if it comes out the same way. One billion was invested in Switzerland in, in startup in VC money. Uh, more to the point of Vaux, we track the number of high-tech startups that are created uh, after we, we met them. And this year we are close to one deep tech startup per week. So there's been a growth in the number of uh, high tech deep tech startup creation in Vaux. That's very encouraging. You can also look at that in the top 100 ranking that came out last month. And you see four uh, Vaux based companies, APFL spin-offs actually, that are in the top 10. One of them is in uh, drones and I can only wish that uh, Dronistics will also be part of that ranking soon. Uh, why are things happening here in Vaux? Well, there is this concentration of uh, academic uh, establishments and universities, of course, EPFL uh, foremost, but a lot of, of others are very promising as well. Vaux has also the peculiarity of having more than a third of its population of non-Swiss people, and this is a very important aspect to uh, innovation in, in different uh, situations. There are six innovation parks also that support uh, hosting of startups, APFL Innovation Park, but also Biopole or Y Park, just to name them. Some successes um, and, and even two unicorns that I know of, because we don't know, of course, everything, but MindMaze and ADC Therapeutics uh, have been valued more than one billion. So what are the tools that are uh, specific to Canton de Vaux? One is, uh, loans and grants by uh, the FIT, Foundation for Innovation and Technology. Is it better like that? Thank you very much. Uh, there are three types of support. One is a grant for PhD students who want to uh, make sure they have a viable business idea. The second one is a loan of 100K to high-tech startups in the first year of existence. And then in some cases when there is growth, uh, there is up to half a million loan that can be given to a company that uh, raises the same amount of money in equity. So last year was a record year for a fit financing with almost 6 million Swiss francs uh, in loans. And I think this year will be close to that amount too. 
a network of coaches is important as well. I'm going fast, I'm sorry. And also some accelerators that have come in the Canton de Vaux, you know some of them, uh, Mass Challenge or uh, Seed Stars, for example, that all contributes to a, a thriving ecosystem and a very, very dynamic environment. Now, the thing that's quite also important that we do is uh, supporting the uh, communication of startups, we do realize video portraits and uh, interviews of startups. You'll see on, uh, on YouTube we have uh, 50 different videos and uh, the number is growing also to uh, give some visibility to the innovation uh, in the area. Another tool for people to explore the innovation in Canton de Vaux in the domain of digital uh, for the moment, that's Vaux.digital. <laughs> And here you see the selection around uh, AI with uh, 68 actors. We have uh, SMEs, startups, but also research institutes. So to finish, just uh, some examples. I gave other examples this spring. If some people were here, here are five others. Uh, one is Pictera using uh, AI models to uh, process aerial imaging, so to count boats or buildings or, or different items you see on, on uh, satellite photos, for example. Because we have techniques, I won't describe in, in more detail, uh, Victor will, will do that much better in a while. And also, predictive layer is using uh, AI for prediction in stock markets, in energy, in different domains. So there'll be a presentation as well on that domain. And two very intriguing AI uh, startups in Vo are Iprova, so they provide inventions to their customers, customers being Philips, Samsung, or that type of company. And using uh, uh, teams of uh, inventors, human inventors, augmented by AI uh, software, they are able to provide real inventions, patentable and patented to their customers. And the final one, Octor, is still in uh, La Forge at uh, APFL. They are able to generate designs of uh, business cards, of uh, visual identity for a company based on a word description of, of what are the values and, and uh, keywords of your company that can generate uh, a design. So very promising uh, companies. And I just finished by making some advertisement for the Applied Machine Learning Days conference, end of January, uh, to, to book your tickets or if you are in that domain, you are still able to provide workshops on specific topics by proposing them to the organizers. So I really wish you a very interesting evening. And uh, I thank Pavel and give him uh, back uh, the mic. Thank you very much.